Hello Grade 2s and welcome back to Worksheet Cloud. Welcome to your Grade 2 lesson for today and I hope that you've had a lovely day so far and that you're ready to learn with me again. If there are any things during the lesson or after the lesson that you don't understand, you can just ask Mommy or Daddy to help you. Send an email to grade2 at worksheetcloud.com and we will try and answer your questions as quickly as possible. Now, if you've never seen me in a lesson before, or if this is the first time that you are watching one of our lessons, my name is Teacher Taryn, and today we are going to work with numbers together. So, let's count first. We first need to wake up our brains a little bit, and we're going to count together. We're going to count in twos, but we're going to start at 40 today. So, 40, and two more will be 42. 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, and 60. Well done. I think you are ready for a challenge. Let's start at 8, and we are going to count in tens together. Now remember, if we count in tens, our clever trick is that on our hundred chart, we are just going to hop one number down because only the 10 is going to change. So we're starting at 8, 18, 28, 38, 48, 58, 68, 78, 88, 98. And I definitely think that this morning you woke up ready to learn. You are so clever. Now we're going to have a look at our 100 chart. And we've got a little fish at the bottom here. But this little fish is hiding a number. And what number do you think is behind this fish? So if we start at 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, and the number that this fish is hiding is 86. So we're going to work with 86 a little bit. And we're going to do a few different things with that same number. So we're going to round off to the nearest 10. So let's quickly revise what that means. Remember, I've spoken about this little car in a different lesson where we did rounding off. And this little car is very old. And he tries to climb this hill. And he goes past the 1 and the 2 and the 3 and the 4. And just as he wants to climb over the top of the hill, the highest part, Oh no, he slides all the way back down. So if my number ends on a 1 or a 2 or a 3 or a 4, I'm going to slide all the way back to my last 10. But if my number ends on a 5, on a 6, on a 7, on an 8 or on a 9, then my car is already at the top of this hill. And he doesn't need to use any power to go up. He is just going to roll all the way down. So if my number ends on a 5, 6, 7, 8 or a 9, I'm going to round up to the next 10. So let's have a look at our number. Remember our number was 86. So we're going to fill in all the numbers on the number line at the bottom. We start at 80 because that's our 10 that is before 86. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90. Now we need to go look for our number, 86. And there is 86. And remember that if my number ends on a 5 or a 6, which our number is, then our car is already over here. And he is just going to roll all the way down the hill to the next 10. And our next 10 is 90. So if I round off 86 to the next 10, then it's going to be 90. So now let's look at the number name of 86. Remember, this is the name that I write in words. I need to look at my tens and my units. And that is 86. Remember that in between my 10 and my unit, I put a hyphen. Now let's rename 86. 
Remember that rename also means decompose. And now I'm just going to break this number up into its tens and its units. So 86 is equal to an 80 plus a 6. So now I'm going to draw it with blocks. And I'm going to put in 8 groups of 10. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 groups of 10. Or I can count in 10s. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And I have 6 loose blocks or 6 units. Okay, and now we're going to halve our same number, 86. So now we know we have 8 groups of 10 and 6 units. And if we halve something, we just take half of it away. So half of 80 is going to be 40. I took half of the 8 groups away. Now I only have 4 groups of 10. I'm going to write that underneath. And now I'm going to halve my 6. And half of 6 is 3. And I'm going to write that underneath. Now I'm going to add them together. And then I'm going to write the answer on the side. So 40 plus 3 is 43. Okay, so now we're going to look at our 100 block again. And there's more animals, sea creatures, that are covering some of our numbers. So now we've got an octopus, a seahorse, a crab, and a fish. And let's have a look. Where is our octopus hiding on our number chart? Our octopus is over here. So if we start at 71, 72, 73, 74... 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. So our octopus is hiding over the number 79. So let's look for our seahorse. Our seahorse is right here at the top, and I can see 11, 12, 13. So our seahorse is hiding the number 13. And our next number, our crab, is right here on the side, 61. 62. So our crab is hiding the number 62 and our last hidden number is behind the green fish. And I see the green fish over here and that is hiding 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So our green fish is hiding the number 49. So now we're going to write those numbers in its number name. Remember, number name is the words that we use. So we have our tens and our units, and we separate them with a hyphen. So 13, 13, all the teens have a different name. They don't have a 10. It's just 13, 62, 60, a hyphen, and 2, and 49. Now this one we always get confused with because 40 does not look like the number 4. 40 hyphen 9. So now we're going to arrange these numbers from smallest to biggest. And another way to say this is ascending order. Now ascending order is the smallest number first, so which number over here is our smallest number? It is the 13. So we're going to look at all the 10s first. So our 10 over here is not a 7, it is a 70. And not a 1, but a 10. And not a 6, but a 60. And not a 4, but a 40. So I know 13 is my smallest number. So I'm going to put it first. And our next 10, which is the biggest, would be the 40. So 49. And then the next one, which is bigger, is the 60, 62. And then the last one, which is the biggest 10, is the 70. So 79. So have I arranged these numbers from smallest to biggest? 13, 49. 62, and 79. Yes, I have. 
Okay, so let's have a look at biggest to smallest. Now, our biggest number we said was the 70 or 79. So we're going to move that one first. And then our next biggest was the 60 in 62. And then the 40 in 49. And then our smallest number is 13. Now, grade twos, you are all very clever. And I think you woke up this morning with your thinking cap on and ready to think and to learn together. And I hope you have a lovely afternoon further. And until the next time we can learn together, goodbye, grade twos. And this lesson was brought to you by Worksheet Cloud.